Hi friends, welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today I have a fun collaboration with my sweet friend Ray. I'll let you know more about him in a few minutes, but first of all, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda and this is my sweet Oliver and we are so happy you stopped by today. If you're returning, I appreciate you guys all so very much and I'm so glad you're here with us again today. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm gonna use my favorite DecoArt metallic paints in the colors Rich Espresso and Worn Penny. And then these leaves I got last year from um, Amazon. This ribbon I also got last year at Christmas time from Sam's Club and I never used it and I thought it'd be perfect for this. And then this wreath form from Dollar Tree, I think this is a 14 inch. So I started out by laying out all those leaves. I had about 20 leaves. And then I'm gonna use this Deco Art Gold Metallic Paint as well. And I'm going to paint these leaves with those colors. So I took the gold and I painted six of these leaves. Now with the gold, I did have to do uh, two coats um, because you could still see some of the orange and stuff through that. But then I did the rest in those two uh, other colors and I only had to do one coat on the other ones. And while they were drying, I took this ribbon and I am just going to wrap it all around this wreath form. And I start off by just taking my hot glue and gluing the ribbon together um, around the bottom part of that wreath form. And then I'm just going to start wrapping. Now this is probably the most difficult part of this piece is wrapping and not getting everything tangled up. It was, uh, it was a little challenging, but you know, I just kept working at it and kept working at it and we got through it. And so then at the very end, I'm just going to cut off, um, the excess, I cut it a little too long, so I folded the end there, and then I just hot glued that um, to the back of that ribbon. And this ribbon is really pretty. It'd be pretty to just do a wreath with that. But then I took all the leaves once they were dry, and I'm just alternating the colors and the sizes. So I started with the bigger leaf, and then I took a smaller leaf, and I'm just alternating, just like you see there. And I'm just gonna do that going all the way around, leaving a gap on the top area for my bow. This this project, you guys, is super, super easy. Um, and I just, I absolutely love this. I love these paint colors, as you guys know, if you've been watching me for a while. These are just some of my favorite fall colors and these leaves painted that, oh, I just love them. Anyways, I took some of this ribbon I got last year from Dollar Tree. I thought it was perfect because the colors matched really well and it was leaves and then some more of the ribbon that I used on that wreath form and I'm just going to make my normal bow here by making the awareness ribbon scrunching it up in the middle and then I'm going to um, use that clip to hold it there and I'm going to do the same thing with the smaller ribbon put them together and use some jute twine to um, attach them and after I have this jute twine twine uh, tied. <laughs> I'm going to fluff the bows and dovetail the ends. And then I decided to do something a little different. Now I know Tammy at Happiness Created does this to her bows all the time. And it doesn't give a nice look. I do like the twine look um, because it's a little more rustic. But I thought I would do something different and kind of go the way Tammy does it. So I took some more of that leaf ribbon and um, I'm going to cut a piece off and then I'm trying to fold it and then I realized, wow, I need to fold it in inward more to make it like more halfway. But um, once I get it all folded, then I'm just going to wrap it around my bow there over the twine and then I'm just going to hot glue it in place. And then um, I just take the other end, hot glue it. And then of course I cut too much of this, so I'm just gonna cut that down too. And then after that, I took some more of the ribbon that I used around the wreath and I'm just hot gluing two ends together there, wrapped it around the wreath form. And then I'm gonna take that spot that was connected and I'm gonna hot glue that to the back of the wreath form. And then um, that way you don't see that seam, it's on the back side. This is gonna be the hanger for the wreath. And then after that, after I get all those uh, glue string webs <laughs> away, um, I decided to hot glue the front too, just to kind of keep it in place. 
and then I'm gonna hot glue the bow right in front of it and that's all there was for this if you want to recreate this you could always add more layers of leaves I just kind of wanted to go simple and I absolutely love this you'll just have to let me know what you think about this one as well oh it's just beautiful <laughs> Okay, so today's collaboration is called Fall Splendor and it is all about outdoor fall decor and it is with my good friend Ray. So let me tell you about Ray. Ray does amazing crafts, especially when he comes to glamour. He loves the glam and he does an awesome job and he makes beautiful wreaths and centerpieces. This guy is very talented. He even decorates cakes. So make sure you check him out and then let me let him know that I sent you and show him some love. So here is DIY number two. So for this DIY, I'm going to take a decal that I um, created with my Cricut and then one of these wood hanging planks. I'm going to use my folk art paint in the color cafe latte and then my Waverly chalk paint in the color pumpkin. This berry garland I got from Dollar Tree last year and then some more of these leaves from Amazon and then uh, these sticks I got last year from Amazon as well. You guys, I'm doing a lot of my stash. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> then my husband and I, um, just down the street, some people were getting rid of some wood pieces and so we loaded up our little car and <laughs> brought them home. And so I'm gonna take, um, these are like, I think they're two by fours. I'm gonna paint them with the orange and then that other smaller piece I'm gonna paint with that um, cafe latte. After that, after they were all dry, I am taking my measuring tape and I'm marking the center point there and then I'm going to use my wood glue and my hot glue and I am going to glue these all in place. Um, now these I planning on to be outside so I'm wanting to make sure that they're going to be strong and sturdy and I know I've said before that here in Oklahoma we have a lot of wind and stuff outside just doesn't last very long but um so that's one of the reasons why I'm using the wood glue and the hot glue and then also because um I plan on having my husband drill screws into these to help keep them in place as well. So as you can see, my husband was there talking to me. We were talking about him using the screws. <laughs> um, so after I had this all on there, I did take it to him and he uh, took some long screws like this and screwed them all in um, from the bottom up to make sure that they stay in place. So then after that, I took some of these sticks and my hot glue and I am just gluing these in place. I probably should have used wood glue. Um, so hopefully they stay. I am using Gorilla wood glue and I think I hear from other people too. I've been really happy with it. I feel like it's um, some of the best glue to use. Then I took some of that berry garland and I'm wrapping it around a Sharpie and I'm just making some pieces to go around those stems and then I'm gonna hot glue some leaves there as well. If you're new here, I just want to say welcome. I am so glad that you joined me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you do, I would invite you to hit that red subscribe button and become part of our YouTube family. And then let me know in the comment box below that you're new here. I love to get to know my subscribers and I'd love to get to know you. And then make sure you hit the notification bell and select all that way you know whenever I upload a video. My normal upload times are Mondays at 4 uh, five o'clock central, but I do participate most a lot of times during the week in different challenges and playlists. And so that way you will be notified whenever that happens. And then again, you guys, if you all enjoy today's video, make sure you give me that thumbs up and comment because you all know very well that that does help my channel grow. It lets YouTube know you like my content and it pushes uh, my videos out for others to see as well. And I do greatly appreciate it. And then make sure you watch those uh, ads too, you guys, because that's how we get paid on people who watch ads. I know they're annoying, but I would appreciate it if you did that. So after I have all of these leaves on each one, I am going to, oh, I guess I'm still finishing up the leaves. And again, I used hot glue there too. I probably should have added a little super glue with it. 
But anyways, okay, so I took that wood piece. I had painted it with that uh, coffee latte. And once it was dry, I put my decal right on top here. I will try to remember to put in the description box the font that I used. And then after I get this all on, I'm going to take some more of those that berry pick and I'm just wrapping it around. I think I wrap it around like three times around each end of this little sign, partly to cover up the hanging holes, but also I just wanted to add a little more detail. You know me, I just love to add those little details. Um, and so then I did, it doesn't show up, but I'm pretty sure I added a little bit of hot glue to that as well. And then I just, um, added some wood glue and some hot glue to the back of my sign and added it to the front of the pumpkins and there they are i love these i think they are so cute although my mom thought they were candles <laughs> but you'll have to let me know what you think about these as well and if it wasn't so windy here i would have added some pumpkins or something to the bottom of that but yeah, the wind is just really bad here. <laughs> if you aren't following me on social media, you can find the links to my accounts in my link tree in the description box below. And it is time for celebration of your recreations. Oh my goodness, Jody, your palette pumpkin is adorable. Thank you so much for showing me that picture. I love it. And then we have uh, Jane, you did a wonderful job. I love those little jar pumpkins. Everything just turned out great. Thank you so much. And Annette, oh, you did a beautiful job, lady. Oh, that wood sign is beautiful. And I love your little butter dish and salt and pepper shakers. They're awesome. If you have any kind of recreations or creations that you have made and would like me to showcase them, make sure you send them to me in my email address or through Instagram or Facebook Messenger. So here is DIY number three. So for this DIY, I'm gonna use some more decals that I used, um, made with my Cricut. And then I'm going to use some more of these wood plaques. Now these are the smaller ones, same with the first one. They're the smaller ones. Uh, Dollar Tree has two different sizes and those were the smaller ones. And then a five gallons paint stir stick. This, uh, bucket that I got from Dollar Tree last year at the fall time and then my Waverly chalk paints in the color truffle sandstone and pumpkin so I'm going to start off by painting this bucket with my chalk paint with my pumpkin color and I did have to do about two coats then I did the same I painted this piece with my pumpkin but I did a real light brushing I didn't fully cover it and then that one with truffle and then sandstone so both of those top ones I didn't fully cover it so it looks distressed but then I took some plaster chalk paint and I'm just distressing the bottom the sandstone color with that uh, plaster color and I you guys I absolutely love the way this turned out I just think it is so pretty my entryway at my front door is really small but I really think this is going to fit there um and I just I love this so then I took my paint stir stick I had painted that with the sandstone as well and I did a little distressing although you're not really going to notice it but um then I took my truffle and I'm just going around that pumpkin or not pumpkin that bucket and distressing it as well I was thinking about trying to make it look like a pumpkin but yeah I decided to just just do the distressing then I'm going to take my decal here and I love this kind of uh, transfer paper because it has the lines and it helps me line it up so that I can get it on even and because I'm not that great when it comes to making sure things are straight. And then I just line those lights, lines up with my um, my little plaque there, and that way I know it's gonna be straight. And then I just burnish it, and um, this was the Dollar Tree vinyl, so yeah, it, it gave me a little bit of problem, not too bad. Um, it didn't kind of wanna stick too much, but I got it on there. And then I'm gonna do the next one here. It says, the next one says, um, to our so the signs are going to say welcome to our home I did do different fonts for each one again I will try and remember to link those in my description box um, but I just thought it was kind of fun to add some different fonts and then this one I made in a brown color and this is Oracle 651 um, um, 
vinyl. And they are one of my favorites. Oracle and Sicer, I think that's what you call it. Those two are my favorite ones. If you're wondering which ones are good, um, those to me seem to be the best when it comes to weeding and um, burnishing. And I, I, to me, those work the best from the ones that I have tried. And then I went with my dishwasher safe Mod Podge and I covered all of these um, little plaques. And then I also put it all over my bucket since I'm planning on having it outside, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. With the wind here, we'll see. I might not. Um, and then I'm just, I lined up my signs and then I just marked where I'm going to have them so I know where to put the glue. And I'm using wood glue and hot glue because, you know, the hot glue is not permanent. The wood glue is. And um, yeah, hopefully the wood glue is strong enough for the winds outside. And hopefully there's enough of a overhang by our front door that it will help protect it. That's what I'm hoping at least. We'll see. I made a, a fall sign last year and it was so cute and it just fell apart because of all the wind around here. Uh, anyways, so then I took some twine and I am just hot gluing it um, to the back and I am just weaving it in and out of that of the each side of the sign. Now I don't know what I was doing here. I think I was kind of playing with it and I thought, wait, this isn't right. So I had to undo it and then redo it. But um, you can just weave it in and out just however you like it. And in the background, that is the picture of my son on the day my grandson was born. And yeah, I, I love it. <laughs> I just wish I could be there with them both. Then I took some super glue and hot glue and I am gluing these leaves onto my sign just in different spots. Some on the bottom, some on the top, and then a couple on the the sides of the the little wood planks there I guess you could call it and after I am done with this I am going to take some rocks that I got from our backyard and I'm putting it in that bucket to hold um, that sign in place plus I wanted it to be heavy so that my bucket doesn't, you know, fly over or tip over or whatever. And as you can notice, I did paint some of the top part on the inside of my bucket um, just because, you know, I knew you'd be able to see some of it. And then after I did that, I don't show this, but I do get some Spanish moss and I put, I cover the rocks with it. Um, but before that, I took some hot glue and I'm just going to take some rope that I'm going to wrap around a couple of times and... Um, and then I'm going to hot glue the back there. And then I had a smaller piece. I'm just going to make a simple shoestring bow and put it on the front because you know me. I've got to pretty much have bows on everything. I try, you guys. I try not to always have a bow. Um, I just must really like bows because I just think it gives a nice finishing touch. But I put a bow there and that's all there was. And there it is. I love it. I think it is so cute. And... Uh, it screams fall, but without being over the top fall, at least in my opinion. You'll have to let me know what you think about this one in the comment box below. And then let me know which one was your favorite today. And if you're going to recreate any, let me know. I'd love to see a picture of it. So here's the final reveal of all three projects. I almost couldn't get it all in frame. But um, again, if you are new here and haven't hit that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Become part of our YouTube family. And make sure you guys check out Ray and show him some love. Let him know I sent you. And I will be back on Wednesday with another collaboration. I'm really excited. It's with a bunch of of wonderful women. Most of them I have not even collaborated with before. So I'm very excited about this. And then I will have another one on Friday and Saturday. So it's a busy week for me. So stay tuned and stay tuned to the end because I have a few little cute clips of Oliver and his rival, the pool cleaner. So with all that being said, have a great few days and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. He really wants to get that. <laughs> yeah, he's all wound up. He's just sure there's something he might end up. Mm -hmm.
Get it, Oliver. Get it. Get it!